B Smoke House back here with you today. What we got going on? I've got a 14 pound black Angus beef chuck roll. Now, if you did know, um, there are several different cuts that come from this chuck roll. In my estimation, it looks like a brisket. I'm going to cook it like a brisket. However, I'm not going to cook this whole thing. It's be a bit too much meat. I'm going to make several different recipes off of this. I like this because, again, I can raise it up. You can see some of that marbling going on in there. I like that. You see, it already has natural seams where it wants to come apart. I'm going to probably take half of this. I like uh, the fatted portion here. I'm going to take half of this, and we're going to prep it just like a brisket so I can get some shredded beef. Now, again, this is 14 pounds. We've got stuff hanging off like that. We've got to get rid of it. But first, we are going to take this and bust it down the middle. So this is going to be about a six or seven pound piece of meat. I'm not going to work on my uh, stick burner today, my old country. This will be on the Weber kettle. Getting a bit of a late start. My worry is if I put this on my stick burner, I'll be up all night. I do have to work tomorrow. So here's another thing why I like this. You've got that intramuscular fat and it's pretty thick. We've got to get that rendered down. This is going to be a juicier product. All right, because of that fat, I like what I'm seeing so far. A lot of this, I'm not really worried about it. Don't want this falling apart. It's not going to fall apart. We're going to smoke this fat cap up. I'm going to get this seasoned down. And yeah, we're going to keep it as such. It's a bit uneven. Might go through and trim some more. Stay tuned. I'll be back. Let me get my seasonings ready. I like where this is going already. I want to show you guys different alternatives than brisket, right? So um, we're going to take this smoke just like a brisket. I'm not going to do really any trimming. I'm going to keep a lot of this fat on unless it's hard. All this appears to be soft. There is a, a secondary skin on here. You can see that. However, because we're cooking on the Weber, I'm not worried about this. This is going to get cooked and become tender, right? So we're going to leave it just like this. I'll be back. Again, let me get my seasonings and everything ready, and I'll bring you along this journey with me. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. I've got some um, mustard and pickle juice. That's going to be my binder. My binder, right? So, again, I like this fat. I'm not going to cut that off. I may try and trust this up. I think I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to go get some binder on. Can we rub this in? I can't seem to find my gloves right now, guys, so I'm working with my naked hands. Excuse me. I will be washing my hands um, throughout this cook and throughout working with this meat. And tell me that's not beautiful, guys. Look at the grain on that. Look at the grain on that. Just These are the cuts I like doing. I told you guys before I like doing these larger cuts. They take some time. But when broken down, I mean, you can slice this. You can get some excellent slices out of this. Or you can take it a little bit past slicing and get some uh, shredded beef. It'll be delicious. This fat's going to make sure that it's delicious. All right. So we get that all covered. All right. Then we're going to start. This is going to be our presentation side. So we're going to get this seasoned first. All right. So we're going on first with some kosher salt. It's a big piece of meat guys. It can handle a bit of salt. Alright. It's a big piece of meat. Worst thing you could do is under salt it. It won't be seasoned when it comes off the pit. This is also going to help me get or establish my bark. Again, I told you guys we're smoking this. We're smoking this just like uh, we would do a brisket. All right. Okay. We're gonna get some on the sides. Looks like a lot because it is. Okay. Bad, bad, bad. Just remember, especially for the portions of this that I'm gonna shred. I'm more than likely going to have to come back after the fact and season the shredded beef. Again, 
So yeah, it can take it can take a bit of seasoning, guys. This is about a six, seven pound of meat. Remember that whole that whole uh, chuck roll was about 14 pounds, and uh, to me it was a little bit more expensive than brisket. I could have got a regular brisket for that. However, I've done brisket quite a few times. So I'm trying to give you guys an, a different alternative. So just stay tuned. Enjoy the ride, guys. So you get that on. You see me patting. Make sure that kosher salt gets down in there. All right. Now, one thing I did not do with this is the overnight brine. Didn't want to do it. Um, just want to show you guys. I I am a fan favorite of that overnight brine. However, just want to show you guys things could be done differently. So I'm literally getting up, preparing this. Same morning I'm getting up. That looks pretty good to me. This can be done in the oven. However, come on, this is B Smokehouse. We're putting this on the smoker. All right, so that's that. We're gonna go. I've got two different types of black pepper. Again, we're gonna start off with the non presentation side. Getting it on there. We're going heavy. We are gonna go heavier than we did with the, with the salt. I've got an, another type, another cut of black pepper that I'm also going to use. You can't really overdo it with the black pepper. Again, I am looking forward to making shredded beef with this. So, like I just told you guys, like especially with the salt, you may find yourself re-seasoning this after the fact. It's been shredded or cut. Pat that in. This other side, it's no different than the brisket, guys. At least that's the seasoning approach that I'm taking. No different. And we're going to take some of this stuff that's on the, and get it up. I like how that looks. All right. I like that, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna come back. Pretty good. I'm not gonna waste this. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna take this meat and mop all this up. Stay tuned. Alright, like how like how we looking so far. We're gonna come back with this cut of pepper. This is one of my favorite cuts, even better than that 16 mesh. Helps out a lot with the bark. And that's what we're using it for. Looks like a lot of pepper, because it is. But just remember, as long as this is going to smoke on my uh, Weber kettle, that pepper, that uh, uh, that heat off that pepper is going to really tamp down. Um, and again, this is going to help us get an excellent bark. That's what we're going for. I told you guys we're smoking this like a brisket. However, we're going past, we're going to go past the point where we would uh, chop this up. Because we're looking to get some nice shredded beef. You could do a lot with this. Let's see. Okay, I like that. I like the way it's looking. That salt is beginning to pull moisture out of this beef, which is excellent. It's gonna help. Uh, it's gonna also assist that binder in keeping this black pepper on this large piece of meat so we can get barked up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to hit it with some lorries. You guys know, this is like my favorite. It doesn't need to be real heavy with this. Remember, this is a large piece of meat. You can absolutely over-salt this. You can absolutely over-season it. Keep hearing this on YouTube. Uh, you're not going to do any damage. Well, I have before. This is how I know. You got to make bad barbecue in order to be able to make good barbecue. So they say, it's looking pretty good. I like the color on that. We trying to get this barked up, guys. I definitely appreciate the support. Stay tuned with me for this journey. All right, that's that's gonna be it. All right, we're gonna set let this set here. I'm still gonna give it a few rubs around, so try to use up majority of this seasoning. I could do a bit of trussing. I'm not. I'm trying to keep this low to no effort, guys. I like that the way that the crust is looking already. 
I'm going to let this sit here at room temperature maybe for the next 15, 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to go and get a fire started. Stay tuned. All right, let me show you what we have. We've got our fire set up using our smoke and sear attachment. We've got our about seven pounds of beef here opposite the fire. Not running any water today. Not running any water today. I got my pan under. And today we're running warrior oak charcoal briquettes and some hickory. Stay tuned. All right, let's see where we're at. I got my little spritz. This is a 50-50 apple cider vinegar and water. This is about three and a half hours in. <coughs> Liking the color. Might give it 30 more minutes and turn it. I see this is cooking because it's on its hot side. A little bit faster than everything else. Give the scratch test. It's not coming off. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz, especially this side. You know, spritz. Get everything. Spritz. We're gonna keep spritzing. I know we still got a while for this to cook. That's gonna be it. Again, it's been right at four hours. All right, we're about. This is eight hours in. Meat's still a little bit tough. I'm gonna let this ride out until um, until the bark bark is dark. I need um, some of these other parts to get barked up, and then I'm going to wrap. Then we still gonna let it ride. We've got charcoal. I've replaced charcoal like once or twice. Just do some do some uh, briquettes in there. Still got some wood in there smoking. Looking pretty good. Stay tuned. Paper plobble. I'm gonna wrap it on the up. Need some help getting past that stall. There's how we doing it. Make sure everything's tight. The main thing here is make sure that it's tight. Because if it's not tight, you know, we add an additional time to the cook. It's already taken eight hours, right at nine hours, guys. might wrap the outside of this in foil. I might. That's what we have. YouTube, B Smokehouse back here with you. Here's the, fi the final uh, product. Uh, overall, let me get my cheat sheet. This uh, Black Angus beef chuck roll took nine and a half hours. Way longer than I actually um, thought it was going to take. Had I thought it was going to take this long, I would have got up early this morning, maybe 3 or 4 o'clock, and put this on. Now, let's recap what was done. I actually, This was actually a 14-pound uh, beef chuck roll, right? I cut it in half, so right now it sits at in between 7 and a half, 8 pounds. The only thing I did to this, I made me a slather that consisted of pickle juice and mustard. After that, I used two different grains of black pepper kosher salt and Laurie season salt 
that was it. I got a fire started on my 22 inch Weber kettle using, I believe I had some um, old hickory briquettes and hickory chunks. Uh, I, I refilled the trough with um, briquettes probably a good six to seven times throughout the nine and a half hours. Now, I was going to do this on my stick burner, however, um, we've got some high winds today and it would have took forever me fighting with that fire. I don't, didn't have the patience. So, there you have it. Um, I prefer to let this rest a little bit more before I cut into it. I know it's still going to be hot. However, here it's about 1030 and I'm, I'm kind of maxed out on time. However, this will still eat. All right, let's see. Let's see how we're gonna cut this. No method to the madness. We're gonna start over here. Let's see if I can get it. Looks good, it's juicy. So what's coming off is that, that's that uh, fat cap. It is totally windered. This is how I would eat this. Now, some of this I, I can pull, but look at that. This is what makes this an excellent alternative to brisket. The flavor profile is going to be a bit different as well. Let's get us a taste so I can go ahead and close this video out. Look at that. I like that. That fat's sticky. It's rendered. It's definitely juicy. Pretty good. Really beefy. You guys, look. That fat is rendered. Perfectly rendered. It's all over my hands. That's, um, that fat is coating my mouth. Delicious. I've never had one of these before. Um, but this is also the main portion. I mean, they cut steaks off of this. But they also get the beef uh, chuck roast um, off of this. They usually fillet it open and all there are different cuts inside of here. I still got half of this left that's raw and I've got to figure out what to do with it. Maybe it becomes chuck roast or pot roast. But I can tell you right now it's delicious. It's definitely moist. It's tender. It's definitely tender. I like that bark. You see, it's pretty good. That's awesome. YouTube family, if you haven't done so, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate the love. I see it in, in the algorithm. Until next time, guys, I'm trying to put out more content on a more regular basis. Beast Smokehouse out.